I don't like the new radio control car action magazine. Therefore, I'm outside. It's in my grill. Yep, that's right. I hope you didn't think I was kidding. We got some matches, got some nitro fuel. I'm gonna put a little bit of 30% nitro on this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that feels good. Nitro. So fine, but her breath is like Whoa. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to pull. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star. Whoa. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties. Whoa. I'm Steph Curry. When I hit the three, I hit the What's up, Nitro Gang? I just received the brand new issue of the current Radio Control Car Action magazine. Does this look like I'm happy to you? Do I look happy? Well, I'll tell you this. No, I'm not happy. But to cheer myself up, I thought I would take out an older Radio Control Car Action magazine. We're going to take a look at this later. If I'm not happy, if there's not a single Nitro or Gas RC in this entire issue, I will burn it using Nitro fuel. I don't want you to think I hate all electrics. Check this one out. This has been on my channel previously. This is an original HPI E Savage. That's right, don't think I only own the big bad 3-speed Savage XL. I also have the original, slightly smaller E Savage. motors it is highly collectible but for some reason in all of my videos I've showed this on nobody cared this is worse than the Emacs I will give it that this does have the two motors here but it is only a single speed I like the high and low gear ratio of the Emacs so electrics are still cool I still have electrics but you know what for every electric I own I have at least I would say three nitros so take a look at this an original team associated nitro tc3 look at that that's called minimal scuff marks on the chassis guys these things are so low that when you run them in parking lots you're always gonna get scrapes but listen this was the hot segment years ago and today we're gonna check out the newest magazine and one from let's see what issue date was this February 2006 around 2005 or so a lot of the RC stuff really started going electric. That's basically when brushless systems became more or less accessible. And I can almost guarantee you, we're probably going to see at least half electrics in these magazines. So I don't want you electric fans out there to be upset. This is going to be fair coverage. Even if I make fun of them, I want you to know I still have some fairly cool collectible RCs. But of course, you got to have a ratio of 3 to 1 nitro to electric in order to be in a nitro game. That's no joke, that's a qualification. Put it on your application when you send in your resume. Let's do this. The top here is a little bit cut off, but otherwise the view is pretty good. My damn glove ripped because it probably knows I'm going to be touching an all-electric RC magazine. But it doesn't really matter. I'm probably going to wind up burning this with nitro fuel later if I don't see a single gas or nitro add in here. First page. What do we got? Proline. Alright, well, Proline is cool. I got nothing bad to say about it, but it is what it is. Wheels, bodies... Pretty much the same for like the past 30 years. Um, table of contents, doesn't matter. They're low rider. We're going to be covering this. Got some RPM parts over here. Gotta love RPM. I am an RPM fan. Some ads for tracks is the TRX4. Don't care. Some more ads, also don't care. A Red Cat ad for their uh, front page. The Lowrider Impala, we're going to take a look at this. I'm probably going to be very pissed when I look at it, but hey, it's cool, it's new, it's a red cat, at least it's something. Here we go, Readers Rides. 
Okay, so a bunch of uh, bagels over here. Looks like custom stuff. I'm never going to be able to do this. I don't even understand any of this. Personally, I like everything in stock form just because when I show up to the RC track, I want people to know I beat them with a stock nitro. That's pretty much the goal. I, I don't see what's really that fun about, you know, putting on these fake cans onto RCs. But just so you know, I'm not a total noob. I have a WPL C14 right here with a damn metal winch here in the front. It's an actual working winch. And in the back, I have a smoke generator. That's right. I don't want you guys to think I drive electrics without at least a smoke generator. This is Jackass. And this is the Team Low C WPL Crawl with smoke generator, baby. You see that smoke generator? Fairly steep incline, but the kid could do it. Look at that smoke. Oh, we fell. But that smoke, it's on point. What I say? Look at that. It's nice. Oh yeah, we did it. Well, it's all right, it's good. We got a damn winch here in the front. You guys wanna see the winch work? I'm gonna show you the winch. We're gonna strap it on somewhere onto the low sea, of course. It's a savior as always. That uh, should be good. Here we go. All by itself. Look at that winch. What'd you think, I was kidding? No. The winch freaking works. It's pulling, it's pulling. My WPL here, really not the worst in the world. I like it, it has a couple cool features. Let's move on. We didn't come here to talk about WPLs. Okay, Ford F-150 body, super hot. Um, new era, mad force. Okay, this, this is actually kind of cool. Um, it looks like I see a pipe over here. Yeah, this looks like a pipe, but this is a very old RC. I still feel like burning this magazine. You know what? I'm gonna pretend I didn't come across this because when I flipped through it before, I didn't come across it yet. Yeah, we have a .32 Nova Rossi with a tuned pipe. New Era was discontinued like uh, 15 to 20 years ago. They made some sick, sick mods for RCs. And of course they had some fifth scales and quarter scales. Tamiya lunchbox. Yep, I have one of those too. Pretty cool. I actually hit 30 miles per hour with this But we didn't come here to talk about lunch boxes Let's keep moving Rustler 4x4 Very good RC Actually handles pretty good on the track. I've, I've raced these many times Let's keep going. It's, you know Rustler 4x4. There's so many videos on these you guys don't need me to talk to you about it Pink body, you know, you could drive it um even if you have no gender affiliation, you know what I'm saying? This is uh, metrosexual, so to say. And some other word I'm not going to mention here. Oh, how interesting is that? We come across a, uh, a diff article. I guess they know the problems that electrics have called diff problems. And uh, yeah, they already want you to shim them. I'll have you know, I don't have a single nitro or gas RC that I've had diff problems on. I only have diff problems on all WPL and pretty much at least 75% of my entire electric fleet. The thing is like, in my opinion, once you have a diff problem, it's inherent to that RC. It's pretty much almost always going to be there. It's a poor engineering design and you're not gonna get away with just shimming it like that easily. Oh yeah, here we go, the low rider Impala. I think these were going for like, uh, let's see, 500 or $600. It's basically one of those RCs that, you know, a bunch of YouTubers are going to make videos on right now that pre-order them. And uh, they're going to run them once or twice and that's it. They're going to shelve them. They're going to tell you how cool this is. Oh, yeah, it's so great. You should buy it. Use my affiliate links. But in reality, they're never going to run stuff like this. Because guess what? I built this WPL. It's cool, but it has dust on it all over. I built this like over two and a half years ago. I like it, but it has no value. I can't really sell it. And I don't really ever run it. I mostly run my nitros, so it comes with pretty cool uh, like a uh, airplane style radio, you know, a uh, dual stick like this. Low rider, it's uh, servo actuated, kind of like not real airbags, just servo actuated. Yeah, I'm not going to get into discussing this, there's probably tons of videos about this uh, on YouTube where people claim that it's like magical. Okay, MSRP, they actually do sell for 600 bucks. 
you know what? Um, I, I really have nothing else to say about it. 600, if you want it, it's novel, it's cool. You're going to make one or two videos about it. You know, make some money on that. You're going to pretty much scam your audience. And then you're going to move on to uh, jumping armors, you know, and seeing how, uh, how much they can take them before they break. Oh, this is the dude responsible for bringing us this damn lowrider. You know what, bro? You should have made a nice... Nitro, that's what I wanted you to do. Instead, you're sitting here with your hat backwards, you know, with, with like, basically, uh, a bagel. Uh, this is a bagel. Yeah, that's all there is, you know? I don't care about carbs or bagels. We want the meat. It's a prototype, so th this is not what you're getting, guys. This was like the prototype that the guy was building. I honestly do like the lowrider culture in real life. And it's no joke, the technology to make a car go up and down requires a lot of equipment, a lot of airbag, suspension, pumps. But in an RC, I, I just don't know if this is like uh, cool more than just one time. I'm what you call an opinionated dude. And if you want to challenge my opinions, go right ahead in the comments. Do it, I challenge you. In fact, I might even have a live challenge or debate with you on a video. Why not? That's what the people want to see. Yeah, well, I got nothing else to say about that. Let's see what else. Oh, of course. Real good fun. They, you know, they're talking about this comical uh, Tamiya Avante. Also, once again, don't care. Yeah, come on. Do you guys care? What, what the hell is this? This is, w where's the meat and potatoes in this RC magazine? You know, there's nothing. Th this is like, it's cool. Okay, I understand. 260 bucks, man. You can get yourself a top of the line 8th scale Nitro from Banggood. In fact, the ones I've been running in my videos. You can get a damn Banggood Nitro 8 scale short course HSP. Take a look at this picture for less than $260. In which case you're going to get this like t little Tamiya toy grade RC. You're going to run one time and you're going to be like, oh, okay, well now, now what do I do? Let's keep moving. Got nothing else to say about it. Oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Are they seriously reviewing like a 12 year old uh, Traxxas Mini E Revo? Don't get me wrong, I love the Mini E Revo. I recently sold mine and it's a great platform. It's good at literally everything. But guys, enough with the Mini E Revos. You know, like th this is old. Uh, we want Traxxas to bring back the damn Nitros. We want them to stop discontinuing them and we want them to make a damn Nitro Dragster and a damn Nitro X Max. That's what we want. Enough with these damn Mini E Revo VXLs. They're great, I love them, but I don't want to read another review about this. I just don't want to do it, you know? That's all there is to it. Let's keep moving some trench tires. These are pretty fantastic. I run them on some of my RCs. Oh man, it looks like there was only one ad for a Nitro and it was like an old new era that I'm not even going to consider because it was almost nothing. And we're at the end here. We got nothing. Okay, so at the end of this video, no matter how this turns out, I am going to be burning this with Nitro fuel. I don't care. And uh, I'm sorry guys, if you wanted me to donate this to somebody, maybe I'll put it in like a, a jar, the ashes rather, and I'll send it out to you. Damn, I'm pissed. Time to look at an actual real RC magazine. Here we go, guys. It's a 2006 February issue. Dirt Tracks Warhead on the cover. OS engine right here. We got a bunch of stuff. Let's go through this. I'm going to take this a little bit faster than before. Otherwise, this video will take forever. Some race winning team associated stuff in the front. All electrics, of course. But that's what it is. Nitro Kyosho V1R. Sick RC. Not going to talk about them. Too expensive. Don't have one. Never had one. Proline. More Proline. I'm going quick, guys. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. Spectrum right here. Years ago, I remember Spectrum was not known for making terrible plastic radios that they gave you with their armors. They were known for making some serious track equipment. This was, I think I counted like the time. Anyways, it was pretty high-end stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, it had real-time telemetry. Spectrum was one of the first brands to have it before they sold out to Arma and started making uh, delayed plastic remote controls. You know what I'm saying? Uh, team Associated RC18B. I had the MT version. Pretty cool uh, mini electric. I gotta say, I like the mini electric segment. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's cool. I like it. Let's keep moving. We're gonna go faster. Traxxas, nothing to talk about right now. Low C LST, it'll be later on. Uh, twin motor, the same as the LST I'm working on, except of course mini and electric. Uh, more electric. Okay, here we go. I had this speed control and motor system. This was one of my first brushless system, the Novak GTB. This thing was so damn cool. At the time, I paid $240 for this system on Tower Hobbies. And this thing, it kicked some serious ass. This was no budget RC. These were great systems. 
Fortunately, I sold it years ago. What is that? Are they depicting a uh, electric uh, RC fire? Probably. I'm not going to read this. This is going to take me forever. Here we go. Some electrics and nitros. Okay. Makes me happy so far. Team Associated. MGT 4.6, baby. I'm working currently on the 8.0. You guys will see that one in my video soon. Let's keep going. Some electric uh, lipo batteries right here. The beginning of the end, so to say. Not for everybody, but just the nitro gang. You know, but it's okay because we're making uh, Nitro great again. Thunder Tiger. I like this thing. Unfortunately, Thunder Tiger was never really popular in America. I know a lot of my foreign audience, especially over in the UK. You guys, you really have the Thunder Tigers over there. Here in America, you really have to search for them on the used market. It's pretty rare. Team Associated, their entire lineup here. Let's keep going. More Novak brushless systems man i wish novak would come back i love them man they, they were great some readers rides we're not gonna cover them off the buggies some uh what is that team low c triple x nt baby nt2 it's a slightly newer version basically the same one that i cooked an egg in if you guys remember that video i cooked an egg in this damn cool net and then i ate it it was pretty fun this is the rtr model Team Losi back in the day, man, they were great. They had some cool graphite parts. And at that time, like, kits, kits were killing it. RTRs, if you had an RTR, like, they made fun of you. But, hey, I don't support making fun of anybody in this hobby. Even the Electro guys, even though they sometimes deserve it. But, hey, don't make fun of nobody, you know? Just not the right thing to do. Schumacher Menace 21. Oh, my God. The Nitro Gang is happy right now. Guys, this is the one you keep seeing in all my videos. Check this out. You see this right here? Schumacher Menace 21, baby. Three speed. 0.21 Thunder Tiger engine. Look at that. See in the bottom right there? We got three speed, baby. That's right. We're going to be running this in a little while. I'm just doing some uh, maintenance on this. I'm cleaning the fuel tank. Missing a couple screws here. But more on this later. Much, much later. There's a lot of work whenever you're running a uh, vintage nitro. But this thing was, I think they claimed that it would do 70 miles per hour. Uh, 2003, I think these initially came out, maybe 2004. Uh, Three-speed automatic transmission. HPI Hellfire. I know some of my fans out there that watch this channel, you guys have this. And you keep telling me you want me to get it. But if it's got a center diff, I don't want it. That's, that's all there is to it. I don't want it if it's got a center diff. I like the monster trucks because they're full-time, four-wheel drive systems. You know, it goes through a two-speed. Sometimes it has a reverse. It's easy. I like them. I do not like the center diffs. And as I said, I had this years ago. This was a great truck, kind of like a Savage clone. But listen, if you clone a great Nick RC, you're going to end up with a great RC. What can I tell you? Let's keep moving. I'm going to skip all this. Yeah, so years ago, before LiPo batteries were a thing, you used to make your own cells. And these were battery bars. These cells were actually pretty expensive. These were some of the top-notch cells in the industry. Let's keep moving on. Oh yeah, Dirt Tracks Warhead. Finally, we get to see some up-close images of this beast. I love this. I also had a newer version, the RTX 27. So this was uh, a Roto Start four-wheel drive 1-8 nitro truck. At the time, I remember paying like $2.99 for it, brand new on Tower Hobbies, guys. It was, it was a bargain. This is something that you're almost never going to see. It's the HPI Savage with the ATV body. Very cool. Maybe one day I'll get one, but pretty much unlikely. So here, you could tell that it's kind of like a Savage Clone. You got dual shocks per wheel, the twin vertical plate chassis. Personally, I liked it. I wish Dirt Tracks was still around. They were great RCs. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. They were uh, clones before clones were a thing. You know what I'm saying? That was like when you were in clone denial, so to say. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this off the racing. Let's keep going. Low C Mini LST. Dirt Tracks Nitro Street Force. Super cool RC. These had a Dirt Tracks 0.18 engine made by OS. So these things were no joke. Two speed, 50 miles per hour. One of my friends, uh, my dude that's in the T-Max gang, Mike, he has one of these. So give him a big shout out in the comments. Tell him you want him to run this. Low C Mini LST Twin Motors. Twin Motors was like a thing years ago. Some Traxxas ads. This is the original Traxxas Jado with a 2.5. So they claimed 55 miles per hour top speed, which is honestly pretty good. But if you look at the Rustler, it's still doing 50. 
two speed, no two speed, you're still only five miles per hour apart. Jado handles way better than the Rustler at top speeds, in my opinion. Okay, let's keep moving. This is gonna take forever. I'm not gonna talk about all of this. Electrics, okay, so in case you didn't know the evolution of electric battery technology years ago this is what you would do you would have three cells on one side three cells on the other side and then you would solder wires like literally to your motor to your ac to your battery that's what you did and the shorter the length of the wire was the better it was at that time and yeah it makes perfect sense for racing you want to have the least amount of resistance which means the shortest wire possible so yeah that was what people did they didn't just go out to your local hobby store and buy uh you know expensive lipo batteries for your local hobby store guy to be friends with you oh yes here we go baby the original hpi baja 5b just an ad i think it was already coming out at this time so it was probably already on the market for a year they came out in 2005 it says coming soon to your local hobby store yeah to rip you off they should say they should put in big words right here to rip you off these are the jamming products, pretty high-end stuff here. Dirt Tracks uh, Vendetta. So they had a full-scale buggy and they had an electric buggy. I had one of these, they were also pretty good at the time. Personally, I liked all the Dirt Tracks lineup because they were cheap, they are accessible. XTM, I loved XTM. Let's see, this is one that I've wanted for a long time. Uh, the seventh scale, 0.28 nitro buggy with a two-speed. Guys, buggies almost never have two speeds. They're almost always a single speed transmission. But XTM, I gotta say, they were innovators back then. Look at this uh, stadium truck. They call this the Nitro Accelerator. Kind of like a uh, Rustler, but in my opinion, a little bit better. Had nicer aluminum shocks. $229 only. These are great. And I'm pretty sure these will be collectibles sooner or later. Wow. Oh my god. I see an XTM X-Factor 2. Uh, I love the solid axle, four-wheel drive, nitro monster trucks. Kyosho Mad Force, soon, as soon as it's in stock, will be on my channel. Here we have a fifth scale, kind of based, I think, off of the FG. Maybe this is FG, I'm not sure. No, this is XTM. But yeah, a lot of these brands, including, if you didn't know, there used to be a Traxxas gas RC called the Traxxas Monster Buggy. Today, they're pretty rare. They suck, but hey... Traxxas did used to make a gas RC, so I want you guys to know that. That's part of your uh, requirement information if you're going to be in a Nitro Gang. Okay, some more. Uh, this is another XTM gas RC, $1,000. And these were two-wheel drive. They were pretty much terrible at that time, but, you know, if you wanted to roll in the fifth scale gas RC segment, you, you had to have the money. Acer bearings. They sell bearings, not girls. They might advertise chicks on here, but you know what? This was like what people used to do years ago. So when you used to win something on a podium, you used to take pictures with uh, skinny chicks on the front, you know? That's just what you did. Today, I don't think they do that anymore. Anyway, let's keep moving. OS 30 VG. At the time, this was the largest OS motor that they made. This is rated at 2.7 horsepower. So honestly, not that much. If you look at the Savage XL K5.i motor, that's 3.75 horsepower. But still, these OS motors run, they run fantastic, so I got nothing to say. Let's go, we're not going to talk about this stuff here. Okay, there we go. Basically, uh, I had this recently, I sold this on eBay. Uh, I think I got about 200 bucks for this. Mine was all modified, all hopped up, but, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be running a lot of these electrics anytime soon. XTM Mammoth, awesome RC as well. Oh, Tamiya TNX, I love this. Anytime I see a Tamiya Nitro, I just get a little bit happy, you know? Kind of like every time I see my girlfriend. Hey girlfriend, if you're watching this, I want you to know I'm thinking and I'm happy. Enough about my girlfriend, let's talk about the damn RCs. She don't watch a lot of my videos, so she might not even catch us until I tell her. Let's keep moving. Oh, X-Ray N18. I love the mini nitro segment. One day, I will be getting one of these. You can guarantee it, this is going to be on my channel one day. All right. Tower Hobbies ads, also love them. Let's see what some of the stuff used to cost years ago. There, oh, here we go. This guy won something, and he's taking some pictures with skinny chicks. You know, like I said, uh, this is just what people did back then. Today, they don't do that. I mean, they still win races, but they just don't take, oh, more bearings, Boca bearings with chicks. You see that? I don't know what it is, but people thought that bearings and chicks just went together. You know. Here I am thinking uh, burgers and chicks go together, but it, actually it's bearings and chicks, you know? Classic Tower Hobbies ad. 
I have a lot of these old catalogs, guys. So here it is, the Duratrax Warhead I was talking about earlier. $399. This is before they got discontinued and they got cheap, but $399 for this, ready to run. Meanwhile, the regular Revo at the time was $489. So you're talking about $100 difference. Uh, at this time, we had the HP Nitro MT2, $329. We had the T Maxes over here. This was fun. This was the heyday of freaking Nitro RC. Monsters of RC right here, that was the thing, guys. The, sometimes you hear me say Monsters of RC, this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the damn Tower Hobbies as they used to have years ago. This was, th this was it, you know, fun. Well, what do you want me to tell you? Tamiya TNX, so the rest is just gonna be basically ads. Oh, wow, Vantage Pipe. You know where I saw this recently? Uh, one of my uh, friends and YouTubers, the Bug 404 runs this carbon fiber Vantage Pipe on his uh, T-Max. Go check his channel out, guys. You will see this in real life. He runs this carbon fiber pipe. No joke. The Bug 404. Tell him Hybrid sent you. Tanks. Okay, tanks are pretty cool. Might be electric, but they're, they're still pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Megatech Dark Thunder Dragster. I want this. I want this bad. Okay, we're almost done. Man, this, this magazine is so long. It's completely different than the Snoo magazine, which is basically just for, uh, for nothing. I don't know what the whole point is. That's it, guys. It's time to burn this magazine. I wasn't kidding. Let's go burn this outside. I don't like the new Radio Control Car Action magazine. Therefore, I'm outside. It's in my grill. Yep, that's right. I hope you didn't think I was kidding. We got some matches, got some nitro fuel. Of course, this doesn't belong in here. This is a uh, total RC greatness. We're gonna set this to the side, make sure it's safe. Although this is a pretty cool red cap, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna light it up fire. Usually I grill some burgers out in my grill right here, but I think this is gonna have to be grilled right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of 30% nitro on this. You know, gonna cause the ultimate end, metaphorically speaking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that feels good. Nitro. Urine. I don't want to say the bad word over here, you know? Got some matches. Let's light this thing on fire. I had enough of this pissing me off. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that flame. I feel nice. I kind of like it. Look at that. You thought I was kidding, didn't you? Brand new Radar Control Car Action Magazine. You guys have any hot dogs? I'll put them in here to close up the grill. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's what happens to electric car magazines when I'm unhappy. Burn away that red cat on the cover. Think it wants a little bit more nitro fuel. What do you think? Let's put some on here. Feel much better. You better burn this entire thing up. Burn all of it up. The real treasure is safe. We're gonna go the extra mile, open it up, sprinkle some nitro on it. That's what it needs. And then, we're gonna throw a damn match on top. Oh, second match. Oh, there we go. Ignition, baby. That feels nice. Oh yeah. up in flames. The electric only version of the magazine doesn't really want to completely burn through. Look at that, I can barely get most of the pages. Anyways, there it is, episode is done. If another one of these all electric car magazines come to my house, it's gonna end up in this damn barbecue, but I better have some hot dogs by then. Thanks so much for watching guys, see you later. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to woo. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star. Woo. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties. Woo. I'm Steph Curry when I hit the. Floor.